Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. For today's recipe, we're making these delicious broccoli flour cheesy tortillas. We're gonna start out by steaming two cups of broccoli. We're gonna set it aside and while it cools down, we're gonna mix the other ingredients. In a medium sized bowl, we're gonna mix half a cup of plain yogurt, one large egg, and two tablespoons of melted vegetable shortening. Mix it all up until it's well combined. For the vegetable shortening, I placed it in the microwave for a few seconds. Make sure it's completely cooled down before you add it to the ingredients. Set it aside and once your broccoli has completely cooled down, transfer it to a blender or a food processor. No need to add water to the blender, so if you have a food processor, I highly recommend you use one of those because it will make it a lot easier. Blend until the broccoli is completely broken down and set it aside. In a separate bowl, sift three cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. Add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and the broccoli from the blender. Mix with your spatula. Once it gets too hard to mix with the spatula, continue mixing by hand. As you're mixing, it may seem a little bit dry and you may be tempted to add a little bit more water, but with the amount of ingredients we used, it was the perfect amount. Just continue mixing until it all comes together. Your dough is not going to be smooth like when you're making tortillas because of all the pieces of broccoli. It's going to have a light rough texture but that's okay because that's what's going to make these tortillas different. Once it's no longer sticking to the side of the bowl or your hands, your dough is ready. Separate your dough into two to three inch rounds. These are gonna be a little bit thicker than normal tortillas, so we're only gonna make about nine or 10 tortillas with the amount of ingredients we're using. Once you're done separating your dough, transfer them back into the bowl. Cover them with a clean towel or kitchen towel. Let them rest for about 10 minutes before you begin to roll them out. Lightly flour your work surface and begin to roll out the first one until it reaches about three to four inches in diameter. Add a good amount of your favorite melting cheese right in the middle. I'm using Monterey Jack. Grab the edges and pinch them close at the top. Once it's nice and sealed, continue rolling it until you have an eight to 10 inch round. Don't worry too much about the shape if it doesn't come out in a perfect circle. As you're rolling it, you're gonna notice a few air pockets in the tortilla. As you're rolling the tortilla, those air pockets will eventually go away. But if you have one that doesn't, just give it a light pinch on the top to release the air and continue rolling it until you have an 8 to 10 inch round. Once we have the size that we need, we're going to carefully lift it up and place it on a preheated skillet. I have my skillet preheated at 5.5, which is a low to medium heat. Cook for 15 to 20 seconds on the first side. Flip and cook for another 30 to 40 seconds on the second side. Once you do the third flip, it should puff up almost immediately. Once it's nice and puffy, it's ready. Remove it and place it in the tortilla warmer to keep it nice and warm while we prepare the rest. These tortillas taste great just by themselves, but you can also enjoy them with your favorite foods or use them to make tacos. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And if you're new to this channel and would like to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell so you can receive a notification each time we upload a new video. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much and I'll see you in our next video.